Hi, my name is Mark and I teach economics. Today in this video, we're going to look at the three basic assumptions of economics. All of economic theory rests on these three assumptions. And they are people are rational, people respond to economic incentives, and optimal decisions are made at the margin. Let's take a look at this people are rational. I, I know, I know a lot of people, this is the first thing they say, it's not true. But in economics, we're talking generally, we're talking in aggregate. For example, people don't drive on the left side, hand side of the road, unless they're in England or Australia, of course, I believe Australia. So generally people make rational choices, rational decisions, people make decisions that are in their best interest using information available. Information, sometimes we assume it's perfect, then in economics we look at imperfect information. In aggregate, societies rational even if individuals are irrational at times or temporarily so. I mean, who hasn't been in a relationship where the person says, you're insane, you're crazy, you have a problem. And if you haven't had that song at you, then you haven't been in a relationship. Number two, people respond to economic incentives. Yes, if you know Maslow's hierarchy of needs, there's uh, humans are complexly uh, stratified in their psychological motivations, but at least at the bottom primary uh, motivation uh, tier, economics is a strong motivator. Money doesn't make the world go around, but economics at a primary level, it doesn't, it, you know, it doesn't hurt. It, it gets people to, to work, to do their incentives, to, to achieve a goal. This is a homesteader clearing land, creating a field, and growing food for his family to provide. This is an economic incentive he has. He's working. If there was socialism or heavy taxation, he would have an economic disincentive. Why would anybody use the sweat of their brow from, and the fruit of their labor to give their produce to their neighbor's wife, in essence? If that was the case, I think I'd rather be surfing. I think I'd rather be polishing my surfboard, shaka baby, hitting the waves. So economic incentives are a very powerful motivator and economic disincentives are a powerful motivator for doing let's say leisurely activities instead of productive activities. Optimal decisions are made at the margin. And this is the, of these three basic assumptions, this is the most complex because the first thing people ask me, what, are, what does it mean margin? Margin, marginal means just the additional. One more added unit. So each person consciously or unconsciously looks at the marginal benefit and marginal cost of making a choice. If you're getting an additional marginal, utility benefit from one additional unit, you'll continue with that process until MB equals MC, marginal benefit equals marginal cost, that's equilibrium. And this is known as marginal analysis. So the example I like to use is pizza. You think about this pizza, you have the first slice of pizza and it tastes great. You're getting a lot of utility benefit from that. The second piece doesn't taste as good. Well, it tastes great, but it doesn't taste as good as the first and third, fourth, fifth. So you make a decision based on like, if you want to restrict the caloric intake, if you feel full, longer run and short run, your mind is subconsciously calculating at such a rapid pace, all these decisions, it's doing marginal analysis. Let's say you stop at two. That means your marginal benefit from the third piece is greater than the, uh, or the, the marginal cost of obesity or feeling salted out or not feeling great is greater than the marginal benefit of the satisfaction or utility you get from that taste. So again, you have three economic incentives, really easy, often on quizzes and tests. It's a primary thing they like to test in economics. It's people are rational, people respond to economic incentives, and optimal decisions are made at the margin. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.